Hello, Kurt here from Action Video Talk. Today I'm going to be showing you some keyboard shortcuts in After Effects to help improve your editing time. Keyboard shortcuts allow your left hand to do things with your right hand to speed things up. The first one I'm going to be showing you is Control Shift D. This one is helpful as it splits the layer, just like so. Sometimes layers require a lot of splits, and having to go in between tools all the time would be very difficult. As you can see, it makes splitting very quick. The next one is for any mistakes. Like a lot of other programs, Control Z will be your friend. It undoes the last thing. Now if you accidentally hit Control Z, you can get Control Shift Z to redo. The next important keyboard shortcut is Control D. This will duplicate the object and all of its effects, like so. This is helpful if you build an element and want multiple of these elements. It will copy all the effects and make the exact same thing. The next few keyboard shortcuts are to bring up specific menus for a layer. For example, T brings up the opacity, R its rotation, P its position, and S the scale. There are many, many of these, so learn the ones that will help you the most. The first one is Control y which will add a solid. Solids are used for a ton of things in After Effects, so this is great to know. The next one is Control shift alt t This will add a text layer. If you forget any of these keyboard shortcuts for adding things, you can go up to Layer, New, and they're right over here. You can switch between tools with keyboard shortcuts as well. If you press H, you'll go to the Hand tool, which allows you to do this type of scrolling. If you press G, it takes you to the Pen tool. And if you press V, it takes you back to the Selection tool. Finally, if you hit Shift F10, it'll bring you back to the standard workspace. This is so if something accidentally gets messed up, it'll bring it back to the default workspace so you can find stuff. I've had times where I've deleted entire panels over here and I, I couldn't figure out how to get it back the way I wanted. So Shift F10 will bring it back to default and then I could just make the adjustments that I needed. It's very useful for those accidental mistakes that Control Z won't fix. All right, those are the essential After Effects keyboard shortcuts to help speed up your editing. Thank you.